Hello, Vicky. Good evening. Hey, Dawn. Yay, I'm glad you made it. I am just looking for the video in my feed, so hold on. There it is. Okay. Can you guys see me okay? There we go. Looks like it's there. How you guys doing on this Sunday evening now that the uh, video started? It's uh, going to start thundering. <laughs> That's just what I need. <laughs> oh, goodness. There we go. See, Vicki, I told you I had plenty of time to get your stuff ready. Doing good here. Doing okay for the Sunday evening. Seems a little odd being on on Sunday night, but I was really, I was really sad that my video disappeared because I know that there were people who messaged me and said that they were going to be recreating the card. And I said, that's okay. The video will be posted. And then all of a sudden it was gone. It was just gone. <laughs> And I have no idea why, because I hadn't even been on the page. It just, it, it must be a Facebook thing. It just disappeared. So, um, it was crazy. Hey, Tracy. And um, I don't know. I, I don't even know what to say. And of all times, it was a video that I didn't have a chance to put on my other page yet. So, it was totally gone. So, I just thought I would redo it. Um, and... For those who, uh, you know, did it last time, you can make another one. And for those who didn't make it, hopefully they make it this time or they can watch the video after and recreate the card. So it's a fun card. It's a little bit of a fun fold. Um, and I also recreated the card um, this weekend. So I have another one to show you. I got the instructions out and just made another one myself. So thought I would do that. How you doing, Tracy? Good to see you. Gonna give it another minute or so and then we'll get started. And I won't make that mistake this time. I will make sure that I uh, repost this uh, quickly like I typically do just in case that happens again, because now I'm worried that that could happen again. So, you know, I hear other people talk about Facebook doing funny things. I don't know how else it could have gone away. So it's just, it's baffling to me. It's crazy. So again, that's a learning um, to figure these things out, but I know Facebook does really odd things. So
All right, let me get my stuff ready here. You guys ready to stamp? Create your card? All right, I'm gonna turn you down. Hopefully that looks okay. And let's see if that looks all right. There you are, Lori. Welcome. You found me. You found me. Okay, so um, I'm Kelly Wentworth. I am a Stamping Up demonstrator from Kennebunk, Maine. And you can find me over at worldofkellycraft.com. Good to see you, Lori. I'm glad you made it. I hope you have your supplies so you can create the card. And I want to thank you all for joining me tonight. This is a mystery stamping class, whereas I posted the uh, Clue 1, uh, Gather Your Supplies, a few days ago. And, um, and then you can use your own stamp sets, uh, cardstock, uh, DSP, whatever you have to create your card. And then we see at the end what everybody has for cards. If you make the card, um, I'd like you to post it on my World of Kelly Craft Facebook group page where um, you all can post things over there. And I will make sure that that video is over there or a post that you can post your cards under it because I would love to see what you create. This is a really cute card. It's a fun fold. And, and you know me, I love the fun fold. So um, hopefully um, you're going to like it as well. So here, we, here was clue one. These were gather your supplies. So hopefully you all have them. And now we're going to go on to clue number two. And clue number two is... You need to adhere your designer series paper, that's three by four, to the front flap of your card base with adhesive. Adhere your designer series paper, your DSP, that's three by four, to the front flap of your card base with adhesive. When you are done, type done to. And then I get a sense of when everybody is done. Just add your DSP to your front flap with adhesive. Your DSP should be three by four. Look at you go, Lori. Everybody done? You are ready today. Look at you. Vicky's done. Okay, we're going to go on to the next one. Dawn is done. Clue number three. You're going to add the different colored cardstock, that's two and three quarter by four and a quarter, to the front of the card with adhesive. Don't glue your card shut. That is the hint. So, in other words, you only want to glue it on one side. 
and your Whisper White or Very Vanilla layer will be applied to this layer. That's another hint. So add the different colored cardstock that's two and three quarter by four and a quarter to the front of the card with adhesive. Don't glue it shut. So that's a hint, only glue it on one side. And a hint that your Whisper White or Very Vanilla layer, whichever color you're using, will be applied to this layer. When you're done, type done three. When you're done, type done three. Lori's done. Look at you go, girl. I love the design of this card. It's a very easy card to make, I think. Vicky's done. Dawn, are you done? Did I see your name go through? Oh, there you go. Okay. On to clue number four. Now you need to stamp on your two and a half by four inch Whisper White or Very Vanilla car, um, layer. And if you need to color your image, you can do that now as well. Oh, that's what you have to be careful about, Dawn. <laughs> You'll see why after. So stamp on your two and a half by four uh, Whisper White or Very Vanilla piece that you have. And then if your stamped image needs to be colored, you can go ahead and color your image also. When you're done, type done. Four. So you're going to stamp your image on the two and a half by four Whisper White or Very Vanilla piece. And then if it needs to be colored, it may not, but if it does, you can go ahead and color it in. When you're done, type done for. Vicky's done. I think at the end, when we're done, I'm going to just give you a sneak preview of Tuesday's live of the technique that I am going to show you how to do. It's really cool, and it's very addicting, I think. It's called Polish Stone. I don't know if you've heard of that or not, but it's very, very cool and very easy.
when you're done, just type done for. Floor is done. It's thundering here. I don't know if it's doing anything where you are, but I think we're going to get something here. It started to rain a little bit, but then it stopped, but it's still rumbling. Dawn is done. Oh my goodness, you're in Southern California, Lori. I didn't know that. Wow. And we're all the way here in Maine. I'm so glad you joined us. Thank you. It's thundering there too, huh, Vicki? You guys all set? Okay, we'll go on to the next one. Clue number five. Oh, it's only four o'clock there, right? Clue number five. Now you need to adhere the Whisper White or Very Vanilla, whichever you're using, the two and a half by four, to your colored cardstock. That's two and three quarter by four and a quarter with adhesive. Adhere the Whisper White or Very Vanilla, two and a half by four, to the colored cardstock, two and three quarter by four and a quarter, with adhesive. Now I'll start to see your card coming together. And when you're done, type done five. Lori's done. I can't wait to see your cards. I should have the post up later tonight. And then I'd love for you guys to post the card you make once I get it up there. Over in my worldofkellycraft.com Facebook group, okay? Dawn is done. And Vicky's done. Okay. Clue number six. Clue number six. Now you need to add your four and by five and a quarter whisper white or very vanilla, whichever layer you're using, to the inside of the card with adhesive. Add your inside layer, four by five and a quarter, whisper white or very vanilla to the inside of the card with adhesive. When you're done, type done six.
Lori's done. Is everyone done? Okay. Clue number seven. Now you can stamp your sentiment on the inside of your card. And you can also stamp on the front flap if you desire. I don't think I actually put that in there, but it should be. So you can stamp the inside layer, and you can stamp on your flap where you stamp just um, your image if you if you desire. And when you're done, type done seven. I think when I was talking about stamping the image I probably should have said sentiment there too, but I guess it doesn't matter. Lori's done. So you can put, in, you can do a sentiment on the front piece if you prefer, and you can also do one on the inside or none, which is really up to you. I did both, but it's optional depending on what you're doing. Dawn is done. So Dawn, uh, you're back to work, right? So are you working? What days are you working now? Are you working the same schedule? Stamp your sentiment. You can do the inside and the front if you prefer. Both. When you're done, type done seven. Oh, same schedule, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Ooh, I hope you can catch me on Tuesdays. What time do you get home? Is everyone done with their sentiment?
Okay. Clue number eight. We're almost done. Ooh, it's going to be close, isn't it, Dawn? Clue number eight. Now you can add bling to the front of your card or embellishments or both. And don't forget Wink a Stellar if, you just, if it's a, um, an image or design that requires Wink a Stellar. Any embellishments that you want now is the time. Ribbon, thread, bling, anything you want. Now you add that to your card. And when you're done, type done eight. Done eight. I think embellishments are always the fun part. Really jazz it up or keep it simple. Really doesn't matter. It's whatever you want to do. And when you're done, type done eight. Vicky's done. Lori's done. Yay! And Dawn is done. Yay! Okay. So, your mystery solved. Does your card look like mine? Okay, let me show you my card. I have three because I've done this, this one three different times. Okay, so my first one was using, um, this is now retired DSP, but this was the um, Magnolia DSP from last time, from the last book. And that's how you open it. So it's like a fun fold. Does your card look similar to this? Now I added pearls on this one and a little bit of twine, just a little bit on the stem. That was the first one I did. Okay, then I did it the second time, and this is my second one. This is the new, let me see, this one, nope, this one I think... I love this stamp set. I love this DSP. I love these colors. I just think it's so pretty. And this is pretty, I think this one was Pretty Peacock. I love it. Pretty Peacock. And, and I didn't do the inside because I'm not sure who I'm giving this to yet. Um, I did just a hello. And you'll notice on my bling, I just used the, um, the diamonds. But I colored it in the old, use the blends of the old olive. Can you see that on camera? Does that show up? You know, you can, you can color them any color you want to match the card that you're using. 
So hopefully that's showing up okay. I just love these colors together. And that new Just Jade, our new in color, oh my gosh, so pretty, so pretty. And then the third one I made over the weekend for this class, because it was a repeat, I did this one. And this is using the new Beautiful World in our new catalog. So this DSP um, is um, specialty because it's got the, you know, can you see the foil in it? And it looks like a map. And I use the new cinnamon, what is that? Um, what is that color? Uh, one of our new in colors. And then I stamped off to do the world. And the saying, it goes, this is the this is the stamp set. And you know, it's funny, this is one that I wasn't gonna get. I didn't it get it on my first order. And I started seeing some beautiful cards made. It's a bundle, so it comes with um, the dies also. It is, I don't know, I just think it's a really beautiful. So I wanted to play with that a little bit. And I thought, oh, what am I going to do with the world? How am I going to do that with this card? But I thought it came out pretty good. And then after I got it done, and then I used the champagne bling on it. And then after I got it done, it was sitting on my desk. And I thought, I'm going to do use the die and just put um, a foil, use the new foil. So I just used the foil and cut one out and put it on there and added it. Cinnamon cider. Thank you, Vicki. It's a beautiful color. It really is. I wasn't sure how I was going to like it, but I just think it's really pretty. So I used the champagne um, bling on those, and then I just used, um, I think this is, this might be the new brass. I'm trying to remember which one I used. or it might. Have, I don't think it's gold. I think it might be the brass. And just added that on there. So these are my cards. Hopefully you can see them. I hope you like them. I, I can't wait to see your cards. I will um, get this video posted over into the other group um, and then you guys can go ahead and post your cards under there. I did want to give you a sneak preview also of my live that's going to be on Tuesday night. And I don't know if you've ever heard of the Polish Stone, um, but I did add this picture to my um, business page earlier today. I think it was today I did that to kind of show you um, what this is. Can you see that this is, that this paper is shiny, like a stone? Does that show up on camera? It's glossy. It's like you, because you're using glossy paper. I'm not sure how well it shows up on the camera. But here's one that I made. And then I just want to show you another one that I made. Uh, I, this is very addicting, I think. And I use the same stamp set with these two. But maybe you can see. And this is a little bit of a different design. Can you see that it's like glossy? The paper's glossy. And I'm going to show you how to create this background. It's very easy, and it's a lot of fun, and it's it's an addict, very addicting um, technique. Um, so I thought I would show that um, on my live on Tuesday night. So I've got some ideas to to show you. It's really, really pretty, and um, you use glossy paper. Now I know um, we don't sell glossy paper anymore. Some of you may have some in your stash. But um, even if you don't, you know what I, I did? I pulled out my four by six glossy paper that I got with my printer inks and I used that and it works beautifully. So you can use that if you have that in your stash. But there's some really cool things you can do with this. Uh, this is really the, the, the polished stone design. 
And then this is me just kind of playing with that technique and doing different things. And I'm going to show you how you can do um, some different techniques doing that on Tuesday night. So I hope you join me. And we'll bring you guys back up. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I can't wait to see your cards. I hope you post them and post them in the group so we can all see what you did. And I hope I see you on Tuesday evening at my next live. Thank you so much. You guys have a great evening, okay?